Okay, there is um, another idea in Bowen Pierce. Um, uh, it's um, uh, extending this idea of the sixth and the tritone um, for um, the other positions we have also um, end up with uh, very interesting just intervals. Some of them we don't know up to now. For example, um, just a small recapitulation. The first finger was easy. We have the sixth. We have the tritone. Second finger also gives wonderful just intervals like um, 9 to 5 in just intonation, which is not the natural seventh uh, I talked about. This is not on the Bonpier scale, but the 9 to 5. So it's very nice. It comes kind of close to uh, the uh, minor seventh we have uh, in the equal temperament system. Uh, in our triplet of strings, we have uh, the corresponding interval, which is nine to seven, which is a very uh, strong and very interesting major third. 9 to 7. Um, it occurs uh, on the uh, overtone series, so let me see. This is um, the natural form, and we have it here. We are not used to it. In uh, comparison with the very simple natural third, which could be close uh, to this, Renaissance third, it is much bigger, but also very nice and um, somehow a very special Gestalt. So this is true for the second finger. We have nine. Uh, over 5, 9 to 5, we have uh, 9 to 7, and now considering the third finger, this is very interesting in Bowman Pierce, since we don't have octaves, we have a um, um, kind of beating octave, like um, the fifths are no fifths, System. Um, the uh, um, corresponding interval now in Bowen Pierce is um, the minor third I talked about. The very, very narrow minor third. It's only narrow by seven cents or so. To really check this um, position of the third finger by these intervals, um, you can go to the third, make it as narrow as you think could be um, suitable for the minor third, and then you have the correct position um, through this, this system of intervals also. And the fourth finger Again, uh, in numbers, it would be 15 uh, to 7. You can think in the Overton series the 15th partial over the 7th partial, which is a kind of uh, minor ninth. It's no um, real dissonance, it's really a lovely interval which we can learn. accept it as a consonant. And the corresponding
corresponding interval in our triplet of uh, strings is, of course, the bone pierce step. And this comes close to 12 to 11. It is not quite 12 to 11, but um, if you use string instruments, you can easily go by a small bending of fingers, which is true for us players all the time, to real 12 to 7. Uh, sorry, 12 to 11. Okay. See before that, before, sorry, we can yeah. add that. Yeah. Uh, ich gehe zum äh, vierten Finger nochmal. Okay, to end this little lesson, uh, we go to the fourth finger. The fourth finger gives a wonderful interval of 15 over 7. consider not to be a dissonance, it's just a lovely interval. And the corresponding interval in our triplet of pitches, of strings, is the bone pierce step. It comes very close to 12 over 11. It's not quite 12 over 11 because there is a difference of some 5 cents or so. It's not really not much. And uh, through a minor, tiny bending of fingers, which we all do as string players, we can really come very close to 12 to 11, which is also a wonderful quality of an interval kind of not known to us. is not a strange system, it's just a system which uses intervals uh, of um, the uh, just intonation world just from a different point of view, like what we have 9 over 7. Just enjoy Bone Peace.